George Santos. Uh, he's got a new bill in uh, calling for more oversight on income of people in uh, in various positions of government, like the Department of Justice, et cetera, uh, so that we can see where their income stream has come from. Right. What tell us tell us about that bill, Nicole? Yeah, this bill is super important for America's national uh, security. Remember back in uh, 2017, a DOJ a lawyer, J George Hagenbotham, I mean, he's a full-time employee at the Department of Justice, and he also works on the congressional staff. I mean, this guy, he walked into the CCP's embassy in Washington, D.C., and took $41 million and became a part of the CCP's well-orchestrated political campaign to influence the DOJ and White House for CCP's bidding. Uh, they're trying to return Mao's score to China. So he's a full-time DOJ employee, and he took $41 million. He traveled to Shenzhen and met with the vice minister of the CCP's public security. And so, and also Christopher Ray. He took $40 million since 2016 from his previous employer, King and & Spotting, and he spent 12 years working for this law firm, and he used to represent, uh, he used to be the legal representation of a CCP-controlled global company called HNA. This company is directly controlled by the CCP vice chairman, Wang Qishan. I mean, so these are the financial ties that has been placed into America's um, either political uh, political officers or uh, bureaucrats, and we need to expose them. And Congress should have a much stranger uh, oversight on these people's financial uh, disclosures, because these people will be sitting on the cases, like Moscow's bankruptcy case, and they will be making uh, 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 influential decisions about CCP enemy number one's lawsuit. So we need to stop the CCP's money influence on American politicians, and this is to protect and safeguard America's own national security.